Hello, I'm Sean Gannon and this is Minute Math and today we're going to talk about factoring. Now, with factoring, there's many different methods out there and how to do it and um, I'm not trying to say this method, the way I'm going about it, is better than any other method, but this is the way I like to do it. It involves um, taking a strong, educated guess in different ways. So, here we have a basic quadratic uh, setup with x squared, x here in the middle, and a number. Okay, this form is that ax squared plus bx plus c, where our a value in this case is 1, our b value is 10, and our c value is 24. Okay, a being the coefficient in front of x squared, b being the coefficient in front of just the x, and c being the last number there. Okay, well, we want to, this whole thing can break up to be some x times some x with some parentheses, and we're going to have a plus or minus right here. Now, since this has both plus signs right there on both parts, I can be assured that both of these will be plus as well. Okay? So now, I just want to ask myself the question, what two numbers multiply to be 24 but add to be a positive 10? And if this is your first time doing it or you're not as comfortable, I strongly recommend writing out 24 and all the multiples of 24, which are, well, 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, uh, 4 and 6, and that should be it. 5 does not go into 24. So I usually start with 1 and the number itself, and I work my way up, and when these two numbers basically come together and we can't use 5, um, we're done. All right? So these are all my options for either one here. They come in pairs. 1 and 24 would have to be placed here, 2 and 12 together, 3 and 8 together, and 4 and 6 together in these two spots. The reason why we're choosing those is when we multiply them back out, that is going to give us that positive 24. The x times x gives us the x squared. So now we want to see which two together add to be 10. Well, that comes out to be 4 and 6. These two numbers here add together to be 10. So we have x plus 6 here, and x plus 4. And there we have our answer. Now, if we wanted to check our answer, we would want to multiply it back out. And that's one thing that's great about factoring, is you can always check your answer by um, distributing all parts over, uh, multiplying these two parts together. Now, you've heard the term FOIL probably, that is used a lot, first, outer, inner, last. Um, but the way I see it is just every part here has to multiply to every part on this side and this parenthesis to this parenthesis. So I take x times x, that gives me the x squared. x times 4 is a positive 4x. x times 6, or 6 times x is 6x. And 6 times 4 is a positive 24. I now can simplify this. 4x plus 6x gives me that 10x here in the middle. The x squared just comes down, and the 24 is here on the right. And look, I have the same expression that I started with right here. Same expression I started with. We're good. My check is complete. I checked it correctly. And there we go. So now we can confirm that this right here is in fact my answer and is what we um, got from uh, factoring out our quadratic.